Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we're going to check out the Marshall JVM 410H. The Marshall JVM 410 is a 100 watt all tube amplifier powered by a quartet of EL34 power tubes and featuring 5 12A 7 preamp tubes. This amplifier features four independent channels with their own EQ settings that have volume, bass, middle, treble, and gain, as well as your mode switch, which is gonna have green, orange, and red. So between the four channels and the three modes per channel, you can have 12 different amplifiers going on. Each channel also features its own reverb setting, and then you've got a foot switchable master one and master two volume and then you've got a global resonance and presence. On the back of the amplifier, you've got your different loudspeaker inputs, your effects loop send and return, your power amp inserts, your emulated line out, foot switch, and to top it all off, this amplifier is MIDI capable. Now, as always, there are chapters down below, so if you'd like to skip around through the video, feel free to do that. But before we jump into a playthrough, let's check this out in a quick mix. All right, what's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well out there. This is my first big boy Marshall. I've only plugged into two Marshalls in my life before this one. Um, one was when I was 15, so 19 years ago, and that was an MG112 combo, I think. And I didn't keep that for very long because for some reason I didn't like it. I don't remember why, but then a couple years later, I plugged into a friend's Marshall tube amp, and I do not know which one it was. And I wasn't allowed to touch the settings, so I never really got the feel for that amplifier. So this is kind of my first real test with a Marshall. Um, I'm very much enjoying this high gain monster. This has four channels and I did debate not buying this one because of all the different uh, knobs and pots on this. It seemed like a little bit of overkill and maybe too much was going on, but in all reality, it's pretty simple. You know, each channel, there's four channels and each one has its own controls. It's actually pretty simple to use and three modes per channel. So 12 modes. If you can't find what you're looking for on this, I'm not really sure what you're looking for other than maybe a different game flavor than Marshall. But let's uh, dive into this and check it out. So today we're playing a 1994 Gibson Les Paul uh, studio with the Fishman Fluence Tosinabasi. This guitar is tuned to drop C, and we're gonna kinda go through all four channels kinda quickly, cause there's a lot of different modes, but uh, everything is currently set to noon. Um, we'll dial in each one rather quickly so this video is not overly long, but yeah, let's just, uh, let's get started. So each channel is gonna feature the three modes, like I said, so you're gonna have green, orange, and red. We'll start with channel one, um, kind of dial it in real quick and go through the three different stages of it. So if you've been here before, you know that on the clean stuff, I like the neck pickup, so we'll switch to that. We'll go through the three different modes of channel one real quick and dial this in. This is the sound with everything at noon right now. <laughs> Not bad, right? Now, again, if you've been here, you know I like some low end on my clean stuff. And 
then each one's each channel's also got its own reverb which we're not using right now resonance and presence <laughs> So with that, just kind of dialed in right there, this is what we got. got a lot of depth to it. It's got a lot of what I'm looking for in a clean tone. I think a lot of people are generally looking for a brighter thing, but for the most part, if you're here, you're checking out high gain stuff. So we'll kind of move through this part pretty quickly. But let's check out some reverb real quick. This is just set to noon. <laughs> going to add some space and some dimension into that and I really really like the clean tone on this amplifier for, for a high gain amplifier that this does it well so let's move on to the orange part real quick <laughs> it's me and I've got four channels I'm gonna leave number one as clean as I can I'm not gonna play with all the different uh, crunch settings on this one but just for reference here's the red too now if you're just looking for some slight breakup and not completely overly driven that might be the sound for you now for me, like I said, channel one's gonna be the cleanest of the clean. So let's go ahead and move on to channel two and dial that in. Now for your green mode on the crunch channel, number two, this is supposed to be more along the lines of the plexi type of sound. So this is what we get with the green. <laughs> vintage style sounds and tones, that's a great one for you guys. Now the orange mode on the crunch channel is supposed to be more in line with your JCM 800. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just crank the gain on that real quick. I'm just going to start with max. <laughs> That is a very nice tone I and mean, it's getting more in line with what I would like. Um, I've never played an 800 so I don't know. I'd actually like to get a JCM 800 to compare that. But I don't have one here so that's kind of the same thing. We're, all, we're still at noon. Let's dial this in a little bit more. <laughs> Too 
Now I personally like that tone a lot for the rock or pop punk type of stuff, just to not be overly harsh and ganged out. Um, I know the gain's on max, but it's not as much as the overdrive channels. So let's jump on to the red real quick. <laughs> pushing more into the territory that I would prefer to be in. Um, we're getting a little bit more gain out of each mode and as we move farther into the channels. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the OD1 green mode. that I like to leave the resonance and the presence kind of in these areas. Globally, they seem to be what sounds good to me, at least in this room. Now, my thoughts on that could change when I go back and listen and edit this. But here's the green mode kind of dialed in for you. <laughs> following the theme here with just the extra gain stage with each mode push and each channel forward. Now if you've noticed I've Kind of been skipping the reverb. I don't think a lot of us are going to be super interested in that. But one thing I will note real quick, while I don't have the JVM foot switch hooked up at this moment, it does memorize if you've got the reverb left on on each mode, which I very much like. So if you wanted to go uh, clean on your channel one with some reverb, you can leave that on. If you want to go to your crunch mode with no reverb, you could do that. If you want to go to your OD1 with no reverb, leave that off. Just get a nice heavy rhythm tone. And then for your lead, if you want some uh, reverb on that, you can leave it on just like that and be able to switch through all four and it'll know where your reverb is on and off. So that's a really cool feature and I, I very much like that. Now, am I ever going to use four channels? No, probably not. But I like the flexibility because they've kind of put everything into it. All the tonal control is in your hands. <laughs> red mode. Thank you. 
is going to be very similar to OD1, just with more game. Who would have thought? on the highest gain channel of my high gain amplifier. I'm not using a green mode, so let's bump that to orange. but not least, OD2 red mode. The red mode definitely doesn't need as much gain. Really, the orange doesn't either, but uh, for the red, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Just for fun, we'll throw the reverb on the OD2. Now, I know that was kind of a lot of information really quick. Um, my personal preferences for this amplifier are going to be channel 1 green mode. Channel 2, I probably wouldn't use too much, but if I did, it would be orange or red for pop punk or rock type stuff. The OD1, I do kind of tend to like the orange mode. I like the tones that are coming out of that a lot. Um, and then OD2, I would probably use the red with the gain turned down a little bit more for leads or if I just really wanted that little bit extra gain over the OD1. But in all reality, I should not have waited this long to get a Marshall in my life because I have quite a bit of amplifiers and this is probably top two or three, if not my favorite. And I can't call it my favorite because I don't have enough time with it to say it is that yet. But I can tell you with the flexibility and the different options, especially with that uh, foot switch that they've provided, um, being able to memorize where you've kind of left everything. I really like this amplifier and I shouldn't have waited so long to pick up um, my first Marshall. So that's my video on this. I know I kind of went through all 12 modes and four channels kind of quickly, but I do hope you enjoyed this and had fun with me. I really do look forward to playing this amplifier more. You will see it in more videos down the line, whether it's pedals or checking out different guitars. Actually, you're for sure going to see it with some different guitars. We've got the Alexi Laiho. We've got the Buren Jalot. We need to go through some of these. Part of why I wanted the JVM is because that is a favorite of some of those artists. So thanks again for hanging out. Really, I hope you had fun. Take care and I'll see you soon.